G'day Dark Realmers, it's horror author and illustrator Michael J. Elliott here with you again today. And today, whew, a bit of a chill in the air. And that might be because we're going to be reviewing Joe Nesbo's The Snowman. Okay, hey, if this is your first trip to the diaries, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you want to keep up with the best in horror from the world of books, movies, creepy pasta, and trivia, then hit that bell notification and the subscribe icon and you'll always be up to date. Okay, Dark Realmers, Joe Nesbo's The Snowman is a chilling uh, cat and mouse serial killer novel and we're going to get stuck into it right now. Yeah. Okay, Dark Realm as well. The Dark Realm Diaries budget didn't stretch to a trip to Norway to give it that authentic feel, so you'll have to do with special effects, okay? Now, The um, Snowman by Joe Nesbo is another of the uh, Detective Harry Ho uh, series. Now, the good thing is you don't need to read any of the previous Harry Ho stories to enjoy this one. Now, there are references to some of his other cases, but they're all explained. So this is very much, you can read it as a standalone novel, okay? Now, there's going to be some comparisons with Steve Larson's um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, and for non-Scandinavian people, I can understand why that is, okay? Um, but there is some similarities, and I don't mean in characters or in plot, anything like that. But there's something about Scandinavian novels that are very um, sombre, very bleak, um, and and very downbeat. And I think that is basically because of the weather. Now, when you think, you know, heavy snows, snowstorms, all those sort of things, the characters in those novels are automatically um, up against an adversary before they've done anything, and that is the weather, okay, which is, um, obviously has an impact on day-to-day -day life, but it also has an effect, as we know, on mood. So there is that very um, sort of dark undertone. Um, and also, too, you'll find, too, in novels such as these, the weather actually is an antagonist because if one of the um, characters is racing to a scene and there's ice and snow on the roads, of course, that makes it dangerous they have to take their time so there's that that impact too now this story um, the first thing we find is a young boy who's been left in the car by his mum and um, she says I'll be back soon and uh, she goes away and she's inside and um, yeah she's actually having sex with um, someone and it's not the boy's dad and when she comes back, he leans in and says to her, we're both going to die. And that's the setup. That's brilliant, okay? Now, uh, in, the, in the story itself, um, Detective um, Harry Ho, he's a flawed detective. And the, as most of them are in, in these novels, Dark Realms, because he's uh, battling alcoholism, he has problems with authority, he will go out and investigate things on his own without following protocols just because he's working on a hunch. Um, and that makes him a very interesting character, okay? He doesn't have any friends. He, he gets on well with his work colleagues and so forth like that. But he's very much a lone wolf. But into uh, the um, police station comes a new uh, detective. Catherine Blatt and they work together to solve the um, snowman mystery. Now um, what they discover is that there's a pattern that goes back quite a few years where women have disappeared okay um, and it always happens around the first time it snows in in Norway um, and it always ends at the last snow you know before the weather changes and so there's some sort of pattern there. Now there's so many twists in this novel, Dark Realms. Just when you think, yes, okay, you've you've discovered the killer. Nah, you're down the wrong track. And 
one of the things is I was reading it and the killer was apparently you know revealed and I'm looking at the pages and I'm thinking I've got about a third of a you know the book left to read I, geez that's a bit well of course I was wrong okay and that's brilliantly why it's well done but there are characters in the in this book who um, we know they've they've got a connection with the snowman killer who basically um, uses a device which um, I won't go into details to but it's like um, a hot wire that can cut people's heads off okay mm-hmm yeah yeah so you can imagine but there are characters that have some sort of connection even on the peripheral with this killer and they too get murdered okay as in a good detective uh, novel which is really good um now the the ending is action-packed um but when the killer is revealed it's i didn't suspect this character um and we get the backstory and it's a fascinating backstory about this killer because that's one of the good things about um a good uh, protagonist is that a good killer or a good evil person just doesn't, doesn't do it because they're evil there has to be some motivation there and um, Joe Nesbo gives a very good um, and of course it's twisted logic on the on the part of the killer but to them it's totally logical okay so this is a great read and it's basically um, given me the um, the impetus to to read um, more of the um, Detective Harry Ho stories and particularly the first one because being an Aussie I really want to read that because he comes to Australia to investigate the um, disappearance of a Norwegian student who's on a gap year and he has to tra uh, track down a serial killer here in Australia in the state of Queensland and that looks fascinating so I'll get a review done on that when I get the book Dark Realms. but um, for any of you who, who like crime fiction, serial killers, um, and that cat and mouse um, finding all the clues, um, things being revealed, this is brilliant. He is a very, very good writer. And um, as I've said, Dark Realm, as the movie is, is due out very soon, and the part of Detective Harry Hole is going to be played by Michael Fassbender, which I just think it's it's a really interesting choice okay and it'll be interesting to see how they approach the um, movie um, in reference to the books you know there's always that sort of caution you're a bit worried that oh, they might go too far away from from you know it's it's original premise um, but I'll be doing a review on that anyway Dark Realmers so look if you want to get into Joe Nesbo and you want you know a, a great starting point then I can recommend the snowman okay now it's available in paperback it's also available in ebook form on all platforms okay and it'll open you up to the world of Joe Nesbo okay well that's it for me Dark Realmers horror author and illustrator Michael J Elliott thank you so much for this review now you're probably thinking that was a bit quick Michael well of course I mean, this is a serial killer. I can't reveal too much without giving too much away. So just from the perspective of the characters, the plot development, everything like that, I can highly recommend this book. Okay, Dark Realmers. Well, that's it from me. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Um, and I'll be back again very, very soon with some more uh, Dark Realm Diaries for you. But until then, um, if you're going to read serial killer novels, um, by any author, remember, stay in the light, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.